How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Motors, and this is another episode of A Hat in Time. And in today's episode, we are going to continue doing the bird movie chapter. We have one more challenge in the map. Oh, now we can see. So we did the first challenge, and now we have two more. And then the, the, the finale. See, and it's like both of them have zero points. So like, who do I side with? Disco birds? Great music. Or do I side with the conductor? The thing is, you have to side, well, you have to basically do both of them. And like I told you, these uh, disco bird missions, well, they grant you way more points than the dragon owl missions. I'll show you, I guess. We'll start with this one. This one's pretty easy. I really love the penguins, they're really funny. They remind me of Gunter from Adventure Time. Yeah, one thing I didn't like in Adventure Time is how, like, even the simplest of characters, like, such as Gunter, who was just, like, Ice King's pet, Welcome had to have, like, to a deeper meaning. Shooting, like, was there a single character who just had, like, was just what it was? No, every, every single one of them had, like, episodes dedicated to them. And each and every one of them has such a deeper meaning to the point where I was like, I don't fucking care about like Gunter's deeper meaning and who he is. I, I just want to. I just like him as a silly penguin. We need to transform you into the biggest movie star the bird world has ever seen. Yeah, I was talking about Mando, so uh, Paz. No, wait, pre. No, previous in clone was Paz Vizsla, who I really like because he's like a heavy fucking weapons guy, Mandalorian has to save his son Ragnar. I thought I he was gonna stick to the, you know, three letter name. You need to get out but he didn't. Of the cameras and electrify the public, darling. Get up once you've got them going oh, crazy. Come back here and we'll show off our new prop. That's right. We'll unveil our new movie prop to the masses. So this challenge is about me going around. Yeah, just entertaining penguins. Print hat will do. There's some way to um, like make get a combo in picture. Oh, I came up beautifully. What up? What up, birds? Loving me, right? Oh yeah, that's right. You can start like a fucking thing. You pick up a. Badge. Looks like it's endorsement time. And then you do some crazy stuff. Out there know my name. DJ Grooves. And I'm telling you, this young girl here is the next hot thing. Guaranteed. Just look as she'll climb up this statue and rescue the poor puppy that has gotten stuck. Right, darling. How did a puppy climb the statue? Why isn't it a kitten? I'll climb it. Check it out. Save the puppy. Look Beat the shit that. out of it. She helped the puppy down safe and sound. Too bad it ran off and definitely didn't break into multiple pieces. This is truly a diva I can get behind. Let it be known that this little girl is all about animals. I'm a diva. Like Project Diva. That Hatsunamiku rhythm game. I used to play a lot of it. There was this one version of it. There's multiple versions of that game, and I'm not I don't remember which one is the one I played, but I did play one of them. God damn it, I just wanna drop down. There's a big fan of mine over here, or guess not, fuck this kid. Didn't care about me at all. You know what? I just remembered this level and um a guy who I used to watch a lot of Let's Plays back in the day, who kind of got me inspired to do them. Well, after his big disappearance, and he was kind of gone for a long time, and well, he's still kind of gone. Honestly, I don't like him very much anymore. I won't tell you why, but, well. He's gotten kind of fucked up, I don't know. I don't like him anymore, that's my main point. I still like his old videos, but him as a person, I don't think I would actually... Oh, 
I don't think I would actually like to meet him anymore. Oh, when I was like initially watching his videos, I was always wondering like, how would it be to meet him? I'm such a huge fan. Well, I don't think I would like to find out anymore. But whatever. And uh, that was like a video I found of someone else playing a game, and he was in that video, and I think he was doing exactly this. He was playing a hat in time and doing this mission. There's something about them, I, f I don't know, I think they were both drunk or something, and there's something about them, I think it, oh, actually I think it was a different mission, but it was the same map. Like it was the same, like, city. What an awesome fucking pose they struck. I wonder if it actually depends on how I approach the penguin to get a better picture. Oh fuck. See those, uh, those points at the bottom? I got like 2,000, 5,000, 6,000 already. Damn, I get a fucked up multiplier or some shit. Well, that, those are the points I'm collecting for the... for the challenge. Looks like it's endorsement time! All you penguins out there know my name, DJ So 7,000 points already, and, and I think that owl mission will get me only like about 2,000. Guaranteed. So it's really rigged towards the fucking disco out penguin. In this sinister alleyway right next to some potential wrongdoers. Oh shit. Wrongdoers. Danger is her middle name, and she's not afraid to step outside of her comfort zone. Make sure you join her fan club, DJ Grooves. Out. What do I do? Beat the fuck out of him? Well, that was it. I didn't even save the puppy this time. That's lame. Not that I saved the puppy last time, but whatever. At least pretend. And I was telling about Mando. So they go to save the kid. They do it. There's a flashback to Order 66. And it's like... We finally got a reveal of who saved Grogu, and it wasn't really anybody. Well, what's going, going crazy, on? Darling. Come over here and show off our new stunner, our new prop. I do that, but there's stuff to collect still. I think the Owl Express missions are way longer because they actually involve you solving like a murder case and stuff. So I got maximum amount of my. Stuff, but that doesn't mean I can. I gotta leave. Look, glitch guy is here. To make another purchase? Perhaps. I've got enough money for this one. Buy it. It'll come in handy later, but for now it doesn't really matter to me. But it's a good thing I have it already. This one's alright. Maybe we can actually pull off. I love how she's so cute when she says that. Maybe I'll actually pull off doing the... I am getting a lot of... Uh, pawns. Pawns are harder to get than I thought. You don't get too many of them, like, for killing a character or something. Killing an enemy. That was so cool, it reminds me of... I don't know what... What the hell is this? Are these eggs? Oh, oh, shit. Am I playing poker with a bunch of eggs? Not hard to holding the cards wrong. Easy to understand, Alan. You just guess which number of cards the other players holding from one to ten. Which card do you think he's holding, darling? I think he's holding. Fuck! Oh, I can't fucking spell fuck. I think he's holding number three. Correct, Tomundo? Oh, it's correct. The answer is indeed three. Folks at home. I don't know how she knew that. I mean, she couldn't see the card. I'll go to the voice actor. He is quite entertaining to listen to. What's up, penguins? It's me, the little girl. 
Aren't you my huge fans? This car is driving around. What's this? I want to. I want to do all of them. Like the game tells me it's over. I can come back. Cooking show hosts have a terrible track record of getting angry and swearing on screen. Try not to use the P word, okay? Don't Pile of garbage. P E C K. Peck. The conductor is Peck old you. fashioned. He throws that word around a lot. <laughs> It'll get him in trouble someday. Until then, let's keep our show clean. Hello, viewers. Even the biggest celebrity. Standing on the table. And I've got with me the biggest celebrity of them all. Now tell us, darling, what kind of condiments do you like on your tuna sandwiches? Hmm, mayo? Amazing! I bet that eating tuna sandwiches like that is probably I really like mayo. a slim figure. So that was the episode, pretty much, you know? Make sure they you saved the kid. Club, DJ they captured the child of the weird dragon thing. Oh my god, he like flew into space with like light speed. Looked really silly. And yeah, that's it, I think. I don't know, was there something else to it? Oh yeah, the flashback. So we got a reveal of who helped. Uh, Grogu, get out. And no, it wasn't any reoccurring character that all the fan theories were saying. It was actually some fucking character who after making research who the fuck that was his name was Kellen something he was like a Jedi master that we never heard of until well that's the thing we did heard of him he was an existing Star Wars character and apparently uh, the actor playing that guy is the same guy who played Jar Jar Binks and I really like that that he didn't just give up on Star Wars after you know because he was kind of like Harassed online for doing that fucking role because everybody fucking hates Jar Jar and I do too. Jar Jar's a piece of garbage. That doesn't fucking mean the actor's a piece of garbage. What up, fans? Oh, whoops. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this camera, but it's still a bit counterintuitive. What if I just changed it to like. So it's not inverted. Damn it, there isn't like fucking visual settings? No. But this is vibration. How about this one? I think it's a bit better, yeah. Unless now I got used to the fucking shitty controls and I'll be keep fucking it up. Oh, whatever. Pick your poison kind of thing, you know? No, I think this is much better. I don't know why, but up and down of the camera was inverted, while left and right wasn't. It's like, it's like controlling a plane in a video game. Except I was controlling the camera, not a fucking plane. Alright, I don't really see anything else to pick up, so let's go get that hourglass. I don't know if it's really worth... Oh, nice. DJ Groove as establishment, or little girl as mysterious Tifa, moon penguins as hungry public. The views are in. I like how the audience also has owls in it, even though there are enemies. Plus a bunch of other points. Check it out, I did additional stuff. So, my score... Oh, it added up to 900. So that score I had before of the 7,000 wasn't actually it. Oh, I see. It's still a cool mechanic that it's just, you know, it's not just you finish a level and that's it. There's like a competition between these two characters and you get points for each one of them. That's unique. Yeah, I don't know if I can say much more about this episode. I mean, fucking what else? Oh yeah, so that character of the Jedi, he's apparently from like a kid's reality TV show where like apparently it's like a thing there was like a Star Wars themed show where a bunch of con competitors contenders competed in like a bunch of physical trials something like a fucking Ninja Warrior or something like that I guess Wipeout 
Something like that, except it was Star Wars themed. Oh yeah, I can't fucking do that one, can't do that. Fuck it, I guess I'll just... Go back. I guess we can fucking try to do that owl mission. We're only 14 minutes in. It's not that long. Fuck it, let's go. Murder mystery. Battle of the birds. This one's fucking awesome. I love this level. It's probably the most memorable level in the entire game. Oh, it's like a little big planet animation. You know what's funny? In Little Big Planet, you could actually make not just your own levels, but you could actually also make like little movies. And I've seen people do that, and there was like even like YouTube series that were entirely animated in Little Big Planet, which was really impressive. I always wanted to try myself, but I couldn't even fucking figure out how to set up a Welcome camera. Welcome back, Lassie. I haven't written a script for my next movie yet, so we're not recording. I'll call for you when the script is ready. You will? Alright, I'll just chill the train, I guess. Also, we are about to uh, meet the best characters in the entire game, which are these crows. Why, hello there, fellow owl. I don't believe we've You're a had crow? the pleasure of meeting. As you can tell, I am also an express owl. I do much hooting. From one owl to another, we can share details, yes? What is your uncle's sister's maiden name? Her name is Francine. But you can fuck yourself. Oh, it is. Fuck you. Mm -hmm. Yes, see, it is. I see. This is the kind of uncle's sister's maiden name I would expect from a fellow express owl. I don't know if you got the reference. I don't know if anybody got the reference because I actually looked it up when I first played this game because I couldn't believe it. But these owls wear trench coats, hats, and they talk about like they're just like everywhere and they all look the same and they talk about these crazy theories and they just want to infiltrate everything and get information and a bunch of stuff. So basically what they're trying to do is get into infiltrate stuff, you know? Break privacy, find out information. In Psychonauts, there's a level, and the first Psychonauts on PS2, there's a level where you go inside the mind of a security guard, and it's called the Milkman's Conspiracy level. It's probably the most famous level from that game. And it also has these guys called the G-Man, just like Half-Life G-Man, but they're also exactly that. They're tall, and they're like wearing trench coats and hats, and they talk exactly the same way, where they're like, Hello, fellow something. Because in that level you keep dressing up as different things. Like, he just called me a fellow owl, even though he's clearly not a fucking owl. Hello, fellow express owl. Do you care about security? I care about security a whole lot. You should not be going around telling information to strangers. It could be a security risk. I can help your daily life become more secure. What is your favorite combination of letters and numbers? That is the numbers. I really like A. I really like the number two. Mm, what other numbers? Cool. Z is pretty cool. Four. Three fucking sucks though. It looks like an ass. One looks like a dick. So yeah, success. X is a cool fucking letter. Uh, seven is a cool number. I like it. Um, D C. V is a cool number, because they always fucking, whenever there's a fifth installment, nobody can resist making it a V, even though the number's been, they always been numbered with, like, the, uh, Arabic numerals. I suppose 8's pretty cool, V8, yeah, I got a V8 engine. Um, H is kind of cool, I guess. Zero, I don't know, Expre explanation points, a cool symbol. I see. Uh, 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 yeah, I couldn't pronounce that either. Of letters and numbers. Oh, how nice. How much do we have in common with these fellow express owls? I'll put on my normal hat. There's suddenly a lot of crows on this train. They all gone on the last stop. Are you fucking racist or some shit? Of, at which stop did you get on the train? You want to get information out of me? It's not gonna be that fucking easy. What do you mean you fell from the sky? I don't know, I kind of spawned in. Did you know 
know that having a pet helps improve self-confidence and relieve stress? And you see in Psychonauts, they would also, the G-Men would also say just like this really weird out of nowhere information and then they would, they would try to like get information out of you. Pets. It is true. Unfortunately, us express owls are not allowed to have pets. It is a sacrifice we must make in the name of hooting. I'll go but hoot yourself. If you had a pet, what do you think the name of your pet's childhood pet would be? My pet's pet? Um, his name would be... Uh, Victor. Why does the I, like, move to the left? It, it makes it look like I spelled six ter. Is certainly an interesting name for a pet. Even for a pet's pet. Well, that's what you said. What would my pet's pet name be? Have you noticed all these crows around the place? The f uh, no, I didn't. It's just fellow express owls. I don't know what the fuck you're they talking about. asking for personal details, and I never know what to answer. Don't fucking tell them anything. Tell them everything about yourself. They're very nice. Oh, hello, fellow express owl. Hello. Oh, look at that. Advanced mathematical and scientific issue. It's one of those fucking gotcha things. Do you see this advanced formula or whatever it's called? I cannot decipher it. Can you decipher the scientific formula for me? What does it say? Well, it seems like it say D C B. Oh, the fucking pause, kind of, I guess. Four I L. It's another pause. Thank you for obscuring the rest. Look, the O, the uppercase O, and the zero are exactly the fucking same. Now I don't know which one is it. Oh fuck you! I can fucking spell it. It's a four L O S E. Damn it, I can't hold to go faster, that sucks. The solution is it was obvious. Thank you. It says look lose at the end. D C D C B before wait, D C before I lose? What does DC mean? Is that was that not C? DC before I lose. And thank you for agreeing to the terms and conditions on the backside of the blackboard. God damn it! What? Oh, son of a bitch! Sold my soul, didn't I? It's really difficult to get settled down on this train with these crows crowding the place. The they fuck keep is your problem? Me about everything I do. I don't get it. How is this a scientific equation of any kind? It's just scrambled numbers and letters, like those you see on an online form. You know, I always wonder what the fuck is with these things. Like, oh, like sometimes it's not just like random letters that you have to decipher. Sometimes it like to check whether you're not a bot. It like makes it. Sometimes to check whether you're a bot or not, it makes it where you have to highlight, let's say, taxis on pictures Hello, or some shit. Express Owl. Do you ever wonder what it would be like to be a superhero? No. The most important feature of a superhero is the name. Every superhero needs an intricate name to their fame. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? If entered on an online form with standardized account identification requirements. Uh, his name would be... I really wish this uh, keyboard wouldn't be displayed here. They just used the built-in PlayStation keyboard so you couldn't see what I'm trying to write. And you would only see the results. It would be a lot funnier, but... Uh, what would my superhero name be? A while back I recorded an episode of gameplay and such of a game called DC Universe Online, which is like an MMO DC themed game. And in that game, I found characters from like a couple teen years ago that I made when I first played that game on when I first got my PS3. And I am stunned that that game still works and there's people playing it. And the hero I made in that game, the one that I actually played with, because I made I think two of them, and one of them was like really garbage. They looked fucking awful, both of them. And. 
I don't remember what one of them names was, but the other one where I had a higher level a bit was called that Sun Man. Is great. I can already imagine it. No, oh, because you are supposed to be fire team and shit. Savior of justice. It's just that it was really hard to get a name that wasn't taken already because, well, it's fucking hard to come up with a superhero name that wasn't fucking taken already. So, so yeah, I made Sun Man. Should have made Spider Man. Also, there was like a type of superhero you want to be. Do you want to be a brawler? Do you want to like just be Superman and fly all over the place, which is what I picked. And I felt like that game was a bit fucking rigged because being a superhero type superhero was way fucking better than being on any other one. Owls don't like to give blueprints. See, these are like the G-Man. Maybe some strange racist undertones, I mean... This is why some owls choose to pluck their feathers. Cause like... They're crows, right? And they're all black and shit, and... All the owls are upset that they got on the train. Which body part of yours are you the most ashamed of, fellow express owl? Uh, my, uh, fucking ass. Oh, poor express owl. You shouldn't be ashamed of your... I shouldn't be ashamed of my ass? Why not? I would rather not. I read online. It could be a sign of bird flu. I love the fucking crows. They're the best characters in the game, in my opinion. Wish they showed up more often, because they're really funny. They're really great characters, because they're pretty much the G-Man from Psychonauts. Like I told you. Oh look, I got something. I got a token of the conductor, but that didn't do anything, unlike the token of the penguin, which... ...caused him to appear and give me... endorsement. See, this level's much cooler than the fucking one we just did, but like... I'm starting to worry that I might be overdoing this episode a bit. We'll have to become a detective, which will actually give me a detective hat, which is pretty cute. Wait! Don't come in here! I lost my contact lens somewhere. Please don't step on it. I can't I'm to scratch my head. I might step on it myself. Wish these episodes were shorter, but fucking It is what it is. I suppose. Now we'll have to solve a murder. What's in the box? Crime-solving outfit. Look at me, I'm a little detail. Oh, I got an outfit. It's so cute. How come this game gives me multiple different outfits, but I can't just wear them whatever I want? I look so cute. Is this the kid with the hat? I hope you like my present. <laughs> Go to the back of the train. Your uncle's sister has come to visit you. Oh, fuck you visited me? Oh, how nice. For a kids game, this is kind of fucked up. I often think about how kids nowadays like to just sit around and watch fucking YouTube all day, and I like a lot of so much like cartoons and just so much awesome entertainment media meant for kids, and kids would rather sit and watch fucking some uh, shitty uh, YouTube uh, shorts. Uh, uh, a murder? What happens to the best of us, I guess. And since you're the best conductor, it happens pretty often. I can't believe someone would murder one of the express owls! Bummer. I shouldn't be standing in a puddle of blood, I probably. I can't believe even more that it's your uncle's sister! Oh man, fuck you didn't do anything. What do you have to see for yourself? Oh, don't tell her that. Look, she's an innocent old woman. She couldn't have done that. Also, stop telling her to go fuck herself. Ooh, That's so rude. You're giving me the quiet treatment, eh? That's what a murderer would do. Leave this case to us. 
We're Kaw, the Crow Agent Watch. Kaw. We've been monitoring everyone on this train since the last station. Get in the car. The merge in Crow Agent Watch. See? They're not actually express owls. They were we'll secret be agents. The entire train for evidence. No one is allowed to go outside of this wagon. What? I can't even walk around in my own train. Oh, how dare you! Once the clock at midnight, we'll get off at the station with the murderer in cuffs. Stay here. This is gonna be time. We investigate further. But I'm a detective. Oh shit! Ten hour hour left. One hour. Oh, I read the all as a ten. I'm out of here. Fuck this shit. No way. I should probably go back. All right. Fuck you. What do you have to say for yourself? I hope no one goes into the VIP area and accidentally steps on my contact lens. I had a friend in uh, kindergarten all the way back. Is there anything outside of the train that might be a clue? I guess not. And he would you lose his contact lenses all the time. And every time he would cry. Ooh, those car picnics can't tell me what to do. I bet they committed the murder and are destroying all the evidence. I'll get to the bottom of this. Don't worry, conductor, I got this shit. I'm doing the pistol pose again. That's so cool. Look at me, I'm so cool. Oh, fuck, fuck my life. God damn it. I forgot to do the screenshots. You son of a bit. Rental. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. No, I wanna. Hold on. Fuck this shit. No, I gotta, like. I wanna pause with one of the, the crows. Oh, that's such a perfect. Yeah, that, that will fucking do great. Then you can barely see what the fuck he is. His face is really obscured. Oh, maybe like the both of us in the thumbnail. Uh, yeah, this will work. Fuck, I didn't thought about taking screenshots. God damn it, I should have took a screenshot of Disco guy. And of the conductor, son of a bitch, in front of that. Get out of my way. I think I got all the time in the world to do this episode. These fucking episodes are so uneven. That's ridiculous. Evidence. Dividends. No oh, what? The conductor is now an available suspect. I think he did. Let's get this over with. We can wrap it up. But the lighting is the same, and this is like unique lighting for this one level, and I would like to get lighting that's different for the other thumbnails. This is so complicated, you don't even understand. It's a very delicate process, making my uh, beautiful thumbnails. Which admittedly look un a lot fucking better than they used to. Because they used to be really blurry and goddamn fucking ugly, and now they're not. They're a bit less blurry. Sometimes I'm kind of forced to make blurry thumbnails anyway because... Oh, it's like the sleeping area. It looks pretty cozy. Because sometimes I have to take thumbnails not from the game itself, but uh, I have to take thumbnails from... When I'm editing the videos and then it kind of turns... Oh shit. I did not thought it would actually be a time issue. Oh fuck my life. Should, like hurry up, right? So you think you can just sneak around the train like this? Just drop the detective act. You'll never catch the real murderer. <laughs> you can point your finger at someone without clues. The clock is ticking. Will you be able to find enough clues to point your finger at the murderer? Point my finger in the sky. Am I suspecting God did this? You know, this episode's way too fucking long. Look at my hip thrust. It's so stupid. Anyway, see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.